In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a pair of D-Moose lasso lifting straps and tell you why I think they're a great strap and specifically who I would recommend picking up a pair. Over the years, I've used a ton of different lifting straps, different styles, different brands, but let's focus in on this D-Moose lasso style lifting strap and talk about what makes it a really good strap and specifically who I would recommend to use uh, this particular set of straps. So, uh, like I said, this is a lasso style lifting strap and basically what that means is it's one single strap, okay? Uh, it's 23 inches long, inch and a half wide, and it's gonna have a loop stitched into one side and then once the strap is, is then the end of the strap is then put through that loop, you pull it through. And now once I've got it pulled through and I've got it on my wrist, I've got about seven, eight inches of, of strap left over once you take away what's around my wrist, which gives me more than enough room to get the strap around the bar once, which is really usually all you really need, but even a second time if you, if you really, really want to. Um, and then, what makes a lasso strap really great, especially for beginners, and that's who I would really recommend this, this particular set of straps for, is, is for a beginner, maybe you're buying your first set of straps, uh, maybe you wanna buy a pair to kinda of play around with them, you've never really used lifting straps before. The lasso style is the easiest style to pick up, uh, to pick up on and to use and to get the hang of uh, really quickly. So you've got other types of lifting straps. You've got a figure eight strap, which is really good for power lifting. You've got uh, closed loop straps that are really good for weight lifting. But for a general purpose in the gym, for your shrugs, for your rows, uh, for your all your different pull exercises, these are going to be a great set of straps. They're simple. They're easy to use. Um, and then what you really want to look for out of a lifting strap is, is really two main things. You want a uh, Performance, right? A lifting strap is meant to help you hold onto the bar. Do they do that? If they don't, then nothing else really matters. And, and these do. So uh, I've been using these for a few months now. Um, and then once you've got it, uh, once you got it around the wrist and then you've got it looped around the bar, one time around the bar and you're pretty much locked in. You're gonna be able to hold on to pretty much anything that you're gonna need to hold on to. I've done some shrugs uh, with up to 500 pounds. No issues at all, held great, um, no slipping. Um, and the other one is, the other big one is durability. Now, in fairness, I can't really speak to the durability of these straps because a really good set of lifting straps is gonna last you years. Not months, not just a year or two. I've had pairs of lifting straps that have lasted pretty much a decade. Um, so, but having said that, so far, so good. I've been using them for a few months. Uh, they've held up great so far. It's a thick, heavy-duty cotton webbing is what they're made of. Um, everything is double-stitched, and I have not had any issues with any fraying or any tearing or any ripping or anything like that. Again, I'm only a few months in, but so far, so good, and they seem like they're gonna be able to hold up for the long haul. Now, another thing that you can consider, uh, especially if you're kind of new to lifting straps, is comfort. Uh, not all of us want lifting straps that are going to dig into our wrists and leave marks that remind you of your set of shrugs from three days ago. And with these lifting straps, they're gonna come with a, with a neoprene padding on the inside of them, all right? So that is, I believe, four millimeters thick. And what that padding does, all right, if I can get these on real quick, is it goes, around the top of your wrist. So when you've, when you've locked yourself into the bar and you're going to pull or going to your shrugs, that neoprene padding is what's going to brace itself against your skin. So you don't have just the, just the cotton webbing, just the stitching that's digging into your wrist. That little bit of padding can make these a whole lot more comfortable than another set of lasso straps that perhaps don't have that padding. One of the other nice things about these straps is, as you can see, I went with the stars and stripes just to do something a little bit different, but if uh, something this style isn't really your jam, um, they come in like seven or eight different colors, so if you want just a simple pair of black straps with, with white lettering or, or I think gray, white, maybe blue, there's about seven or eight different colors to choose from, so you can pick up a pair that suits your style. 
So if you are a beginner and you're looking to pick up your first set of lifting straps to give them a try, I uh, would highly recommend grabbing a pair of these. Uh, they're, they're very reasonably priced. You're looking at about between 10 to 15 bucks for a pair of lifting straps that can potentially last you years and years and years. That's pretty good value right there. And even if you're not a beginner, even if you're an advanced lifter and you just want a simple pair of lasso straps for shrugs and, and maybe clean pulls or, or some of your simple exercises, um, still uh, a, a great pair of straps for that purpose. If you do want to pick you up a pair, I'm going to leave a couple links down in the description. Uh, one's going to take you directly to D Moose's website. One's going to take you to Amazon. Uh, you can pick and choose where you want to purchase from. Thanks for watching.